All right, so 2012, a very important time. Very important. Yeah, the world didn't end. 2012. However, it's a very important time. Now, I'm not talking about this, even though I just said 2012, I'm using 2012 as a more of a generalized term to describe these times we're in now. This time period, very, very important. It has to do with how much, how many options human souls have inhabiting physical human bodies. So our souls in the human body and what options we have to jump different timelines. We're always jumping timelines. That's how movement happens. That's how time passes, moving through at, re at different realities. But the timelines and the options for jumping to different timelines are much, much different now than they were in the past or, or, or in the future. Like this time period. There was a reason, a very important reason that the Mayan calendar and the prophecies about the end times and all this stuff, 2012, this time period we're in now. Why is it so important now? I'll tell you. At least I'll tell you what I understand. Okay? If you were to change how you think and feel, if you were to change your belief systems your emotional and mental state of being inside, you can shift around to different timelines. Okay? It's always been like that. That's how it works when it comes to moving into the future. Because the future is not written, and there are many, many, many timelines that you can move into depending on what you are feeling, thinking, and believing inside. Okay? Now, for a long, long time... We would shift through these different timelines, but you would only have a, a limited range of options. Now, these aren't options that you can consciously think about. It's just like probabilities. So, for example, if this was the Middle Ages, the Dark Ages, and you were some owner of a castle and you had horses and all this stuff and all these people working for you and soldiers protecting you and all this stuff, you had options. You could travel, you could go on vacation, you could go to different lands, you could bring this knight to protect you, you could bring that knight to protect you. All these different options, all these different probable probabilities, all these different potentials, all these different future timelines you could exist in. But the world itself wasn't going to be that much different, depending on which timeline you picked. If you picked a timeline where you were going to grab a bunch, all your soldiers and go fight this, this other uh, land and try and conquer it versus you're just going to have a peaceful and you're not going to fight anyone. The whole world is in general is not going to change that much. But now the 2012 time period, much different story. This is a very unique time in human history. Very unique because the cross, it's the crossroads. It's the crossroads. Not the cross, but the crossroads. It's a very important time. I keep saying that. I should probably explain better, right? The, the amount of different possible future realities is so vast right now. Vast. There are timelines now in this time period where you can go into world peace, you can go into nuclear war, or anything in between. That's how big of a deal the 2012 by encounter ending is. Okay? It's not like, oh my god, the world's going to end in 2012, blah, 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 blah. No. The 2012 time period we're in now, this time period, and I don't know, I have no idea exactly what the, the, the limits are of when it's going to like start to get like more narrowed down again, but it's really broad right now. Nuclear war, world peace, anything in between is available because that's what this time period, the 2012 time period we're in now is all about. 
the, the options are quite varied. So I will get more into that in the future, but I just wanted to kind of throw it out there on what the big deal about 2012 is with regard to potential future timelines. And what I can tell you is that we are moving into a world peace future. If you want it to be. If you want to believe that the economy is going to go to shit. That the uh, soldiers are going to shoot their own citizens. That the elite, the rich, are going to take control of everything. That all of the freedoms are going to be removed. Then that can happen. And it might happen for you. If that's what you think and feel and believe. If you want a happy future, if you want world peace, look for the good in the world. Focus on the good, and good things will happen. It's really that simple, actually. Focus on the positive. If you think the glass is half full, like all the time, that's your thing, you're going to be in a good timeline, okay? Very likely. If you always look at the glass as half empty, you're going to have a shit timeline. Shit timeline? Now look, look, look. Now I'm, when I say that, I'm just saying like a dark, bad, negative, whatever. Maybe that's what you prefer. Maybe you can take advantage of that situation and, 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 and use ego and gather all this like resources and maybe that's your thing. It's not right or wrong. It's not good or bad. But if you want unity, peace, love, and harmony, focus on the glass being half full as often as you can. 